Okay, in this video, we'll talk about how to split a decision tree node using chi-square algorithm. Okay, so if you remember from my previous video, we talked about the basics of decision tree and also we talked about another algorithm called Gini by which we are we are splitting that decision tree nodes, right? So chi-square is a similar kind of algorithm which we use to split the decision tree nodes, okay? Now, before we start, let, let me just show you the data. Now, I'll show you very rough data. Like, let's say we have we have featured something like this, gender, class, and height, okay, for a particular school. And, and our job is to find out whether they will play cricket in their free time or not, okay, based on, based on this data set, okay. So, I have just given, I have just taken 30 examples of it. I have not shown all the examples over here. If this is just, just a sample data, okay. We'll, we'll try to get a fair idea about the data and then we will mainly concentrate on the mathematical part of the algorithm more, okay. So, our features, if you see it over here, one of these features, if you see it over here, gender is a categorical in nature, right? If you remember from my previous video, when we talked about Gini algorithm, there all of our features was in numeric in nature, right? That means continuous in nature. Here, if you see this gender, this class, both of these features are categorical in nature. That means it is not continuous. But the height, the feature height is a continuous one, okay? We'll see how in this case, the decision tree construction happens okay so now if i just show you the visualization about the data over here okay so we have total 30 students with boys and girls okay among them there are 15 students who play cricket okay now if i just show you the split based on gender so there are 10 students who are female among them two play crickets okay and there are 20 students who are male among them 13 play cricket okay now if i just split the same data set based on class so there are two classes class 9 and class 10 okay class 9 we have 14 students among them 6 play cricket class 10 we have 16 student among them 9 play cricket similarly split based on height height less than 5.5 Fate, we have 12 students among them 5 play cricket and height greater than equals to 5.5 we have 18 student among them 10 play cricket okay now now if you remember in decision tree what we do basically we we have these three conditions based on which we can split the whole data set right and we need to find it out what is the best split for this case okay and for this we'll be using the chi-square algorithm over here okay now before before we move on to the chi-square algorithm so just let, let me just depict like what are the different factors about chi-square algorithm so the spelling is chi squr chi-square algorithm okay now it works with the data set with the target of categorical target that means categorical target that means our target variable has to be discrete in nature so if i just go back to data set over here we are just predicting whether they will play cricket or not yes no success or failure this kind of situation okay we can use chi square the target this is our target variable right now if i just continue over here it can do two or more split can do two or more split okay now now the now the chi square the way it works it it we basically find out the statistical significance of differences between the parent node so statistical statistical significance it will be more clear when we'll, 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 we'll work on the problem set, okay? Significance of differences between parent node and sub node or child node, okay? And the more the chi-square value, okay? The more the difference is, okay? That means the more purer this, that particular child node will be. So the, if I just keep it over here, so high the chi square value 
chi square value higher which is g h here higher the differences will be differences will be okay statistical significance of difference okay and the way chi square has been chi square is calculated is it is actual we, i'll just write the formula here we will talk about that one actual minus expected okay and you have to take the square of it okay then divided by expected okay then the whole thing we have to take the square root okay the whole thing we have to take the square root to the power half okay so this is how chi square is calculated and the tree the decision tree generated by chi square the tree generated by chi square is called c h a i d just a, just a fancy name it is chi chi square automatic interaction interaction detector dtctor interaction detector okay so these are the some of the some of the basics about chi square now let us let us work on our problem set okay so what whatever we have discussed discussed it over here in our data set okay we will try to see based on chi square which one is the most significant feature by which we can we can basically split this particular node okay now to do that what we will do is we will construct this kind of table okay chi square table. i already calculated it but i will be doing it again so what i'll do is i'll just copy this first two lines okay then then we will work on it in a new sheet okay now i'll paste it so first first thing is we will just compare it over here so first we will we will com compute the chi square of this particular split then we will compute the chi square for this one and this one okay so if i just do it for split on gen gender okay so I'll, I'll just copy this this thing as well this is important so if you just work methodically like this it will be easier to calculate everything okay so now what are the columns we have we have node based on based on this split whatever the nodes we are creating we will be having that one so we currently we have female and male these two nodes if i if i just split on gender right because only this these two possibilities are there currently now after that what we'll do is we'll go back to our sheet again okay now in female and male distribution what are the total number of students are there if i just go back over here there are total 10 students who are female and there are total 20 students who are male okay among these 30 students so that is what we will be doing it over here first okay 10 and 20 so we have total 30 students now among 10 students of female how many play cricket if i just go back over here there are two students who play cricket i will write two over here similarly for male how many play cricket 13 so i'll be writing over here 13 okay so how many do not play cricket i'll just have to subtract it from this 10 to 2 that means 8 over here and for here it will be 7 20 minus 13 right now expected play cricket this is important so to understand expected play cricket we will go back to our parent node over here okay now in parent node we have total 30 students among them 15 students play cricket that means 50 percent play cricket so that will be the expected value of the percentage okay that means for each and every node i will expect at least 50 percent people will play cricket okay so if i just go back over here there are 10 students who are female if i just say 50 percent of it that means five who will play cricket that i will expect similarly for male it will be 10 that is the 50 percent of it right now expected not play cricket it, it again it will be 50 percent right because if my expectation of 
play cricket is 50 percent it is just 100 minus 50 that means 50 percent also will not play cricket so i'll i'll expect five people who will not play cricket here right again for 10 people who will not play cricket here now the deviation deviation means actual how many play cricket and what is the expected value right so deviation means if i just write a formula over here okay so this is my actual play cricket okay actual play cricket then minus the expected play cricket correct so it will be minus 3 correct 2 minus 5 similarly if i just drag it over here so it will be actual play cricket for male minus the expected play cricket for male that is 3 right similarly for not play cricket also we can apply the similar kind of formula actual not play cricket is 8 right then minus the expected not play cricket is 5 right so it will be 3 similarly if i just drag it over here it will be minus 3 this is actual not play cricket for male minus expected not play cricket for male minus 3 okay so now we will calculate the chi square value okay now if i just show you over here whatever we have worked on before the chi square value is actual minus expected square divided by expected and all over it is root square root right so let us do it over here so i'll write another formula now so it will be my actual minus expected if you see it over here this is nothing but the deviation okay this is nothing but the deviation of play cricket right now we are talking we are talking about chi square value of play cricket of the female student okay that is what we are calculating now so that means actual minus deviation actual minus expected that means deviation of play cricket right it's squared i have to do i have to do the square of it then i have to divide it by the expected play cricket for female student okay that is five right the whole thing the whole stuff i have to take a square root of it sqrt right so i have to take a square root of it okay so this is the value for the chi square for female student who play cricket similarly for not play cricket i can write the similar formula right so the deviation of not play cricket it's squared deviation is nothing but the actual minus expected divided by the expected not play cricket that is just 5 right and then we will just take the square root of it we'll just take the square root of it right so this is the one now if i just drag it for male and drag it for male as well so this is the chi square value for male who play cricket and the chi square value for male who play who do not play cricket right now if i just add all of these so this is the total total chi square this is the total chi square so what will be the one so i'll what i'll do is i will just merge these two sets okay so it will be equals to this guy plus all the chi square value basically this guy plus this guy plus this guy over here okay so this is my chi square value so if i just if i just compare it whatever i have done it before this is coming up 4.58 okay so this is this is the how we calculated the split based on gender okay so similarly if i if i just show you now the data set so if i just compute the same stuff same chi square value based on class and height okay which i already done over here it is, it is the similar calculation right so if i just see for class 10 so there are total are 14 members right so if i just tally it over here so there are total 14 members among them play cricket is six that is what i have filled up over here right and for this is for class 9 and for class 10 there are 16 and 9 so 16 and 9 so the how many do not play cricket is 14 minus 6 is 8 16 minus 9 is 7 
right now expected it will be 50 percent as parent has 50 percent probability that it will be a play cricket right so that is what i have done 14 of 50 percent of 14 is 7 50 percent of 16 is 8 right similarly not play cricket will also be 50 percent right so similar stuff then i have just calculated the deviation by this guy minus the expected value actual minus expected value for play cricket and not play cricket then we calculate the square chi square value similar way actual minus deviation square actual minus expected square divided by expected then square root of it okay now if you see it over here the overall chi square value for this split is higher if for this it is 4.58 roundabout it is 1.46 and it is 1.48 so that means split on gender will be the best split among all the splits okay so that is what we we where we are coming up with the chi square values we are basically coming up with a split which is the best one and if you see if we do this split by this gender right so the the nodes it's created is pure because here if you see either only the female or female will be there in this in this nodes it, it cannot be mixed up but other classes other splits it could it will be mixed up one because if we split by class in a class there will be male and female both similarly for height less than 5.5 there will be male and female both right so this is how the chi square works and now if i just show you the decision tree now i just sh show you the one one way so first first among all the students we just we just determined that the gender split is the best one then we split by gender right now in decision tree as i have discussed before right so there there is a possibility of further splitting the tree again right because we, we still have two features left class and height similar way now again this female node and the male node we can try to divide we can try to split based on again we can see for class or height we what, what is the chi square value for this to split and we'll select the split which have higher chi square value okay so this is how the chi square algorithm works with decision tree in the next video we'll talk about information gain algorithm how to use information gain algorithm uh, with a decision tree